Guys, I'm... S I fucked up. I'm so fucking scared. Alright, I'm... God damn it, why'd I fucking do this? I came out here... Cause, you know, I thought... You know, maybe it'd be fun... To do something for fucking angry beavers in front of a beaver dam. You know, something like that. You know, it, it'd be fucking relevant. And I came out here at like 11 a.m. Looking for a goddamn beaver dam. First off, there's no... <laughs> there's no beavers out here. First off, I... They don't live down here. And uh, secondly, uh, I've been... Uh, I've been in the goddamn woods since around 1 p.m. Trying to find my... What the fuck is that? God damn it, I'm gonna fucking die here. I can't find a fucking car, I can't find a path. I don't have any fucking bars so I can fucking call someone to come get me. Or even identify my fucking body, whatever comes first. Fuck. I... I God damn it. Whoever finds this fucking phone, just... <laughs> Whoever finds this fucking phone, please just put this on my goddamn YouTube channel. Because I don't know if I'm gonna fucking survive out here. There's no fucking trail. There's no road. I keep hearing sticks snapping around me. I think I heard someone fucking laughing earlier, so I'm probably gonna fucking die out here. But... I promised you guys an Angry Beavers video, and it's, it's probably going to be the last time you ever fucking hear from me. Uh, back in the late 90s, Nickelodeon, they were swinging kind of wild with whatever, because, you know, they were like the kings of cartoons at the time. And uh, one of them was Angry Beavers. It was this weird show about these twin brother beavers who were making it out on their own, and you know, it was their day-to-day -day adventures, dicking around and surviving. They had this really kick-ass beaver dam. It was set up like a bachelor pad, you know. It looked really cool. Had a doorbell, had cable TV. They were sleeping in these canoes. That's another fucking thing. All right? And it's driving me up the fucking wall because it's driving me crazy. I keep moving towards the sound of traffic because I keep hearing it all the fuck around me. But I'm, I never get any fucking closer. What the... What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why can't I get out of the fucking woods? Ugh. Anyway. I'm gonna fucking die here. I might as well finish. Uh. So, the Angry Peepers Halloween special was, uh, There aren't great words to describe it, like, broadly, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump in here. Um, it was called The Day the World Got Really, Really Screwed Up. Good title. Uh, and, uh, they went all out with the animation for it. I'll, I can tell you that much. Uh, they, uh, it's about the angry beavers, Norbert and Daggett. Uh, they're trick-or-treating the day before Halloween, and, uh, People aren't upset that they're beavers. People are just upset that they're trick-or-treating the day before Halloween instead of on Halloween. They thought they'd be able to get more candy, but it didn't work out as well as they thought it would. The fuck's over there? There's apparently nothing over there right now. Uh, anyway... Uh, now, uh, one thing that the brothers got going on, they, uh, they really love these shitty B-movies by this one dude named Oxnard Montalvo. He's, like, this famous B-movie actor in their universe. He does, like, thousands of monster movies. And they actually, uh, they end up at his fucking house. And he's drawn perfectly. He's like an old EC Comics Tales from the Crypt character. So are the other human characters in the episode. Uh, Toluca Lake, which is a town in California, but also a woman in this case, and uh, his scientist friend is called Doc. <laughs> and 
brown recluse on my goddamn hand. Had to blow that away real quick. Uh, so they go there, and his house is this fucking museum for all of these monsters he's battled. They're all just uh, displayed in his house. And uh, the thing is, like, this meteorite crash landed in his yard, like, before they got there. And it had this giant alien monster in it who, like, possessed his butler. And now he's got these fucking rays in his eyes that are bringing all the monsters to life. And it turns the episode into black and white. And it's, it's really good. Like, it's really good. It's wacky. The monsters are actually... <laughs> Oh, God. The monsters are actually fucking scary. And, uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, when I started this, I was going to talk about how scary the fucking monsters were. But, uh, now I know actual fear. I do. Knowing you're going to die in the woods. I'd call that actual fucking fear. Fucking. God damn it. God damn it. I hate Michigan. Michigan is why this fucking happened to me. Because they hide their beaver dam so goddamn well, and then you wander into the fucking Blair Witch Project. That's what happens when you go looking for beaver dams. Uh. Uh, anyway, uh. So, the beavers know the movies better than anyone besides Oxnard Montalvo himself, so they are gonna be key to, uh, figuring out how to stop the alien and shit like that. And, uh, like, uh, it's, there's a lot of great callbacks to old episodes, because there's several episodes where they're watching Oxnard Montalvo's movies, and a lot of those monsters actually show up in the episode. Like, uh, The Crawling Spleen, that one's, that one's really fucking weird. It's a spleen with a human thumb attached to it, and that's how it drags itself around. And it sticks its thumb in your ear to kill you. That's how it gets you. And there's all sorts of weird stuff, including monsters from, like, his lost film that are just terrorizing the place, and they have to stop them from taking over the world and killing them and ruining Halloween. And, you know, eventually everything works out okay. But, uh, it's when they actually defeat the alien and they save the day that it gets hilarious, because the narrator tries to do this epilogue, but he starts talking about how he lost his script on the bus and how stupid he thinks the episode actually is, because it doesn't make any sense. Like, if Man Cervante, that's what the guy's name is, by the way. Uh, the butler's name is Man Cervante. It's... It, that part's funny. I like that. Uh, he explains, like, if he could just bring the monsters to life, why would he need the beavers to believe? It, it's stuff that never even gets addressed in the episode, so the epilogue just really makes it weird. Even even more so than it was. Uh, also, uh, there's just a lot of classic horror cliches in it. Like, Oxnard Montalvo tries to fist fight some of the monsters, and it goes really poorly for him. And uh, Toluca Lake is a damsel in distress. She keeps breaking her own ankles. She breaks each ankle, like, three times. And by the time it's... Oh, God, I really hope that someone... It's looking for me and not someone who's going to fucking bury me out here. Uh, but, uh, oh, God. Yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty funny. Uh, and Doc, he's great. Nothing he says makes sense. He tries to do weird pickle analogies. You know, kind of like the Twinkie thing from Ghostbusters. But it's just, it's insane. It's, it's off the wall. This one I'm actually having trouble describing, just because it's such a largely visual experience. I'm going to see if I can find it for you guys, and if I can, I'll put it in the comments. On Facebook, obviously. Uh, and uh, that is actually if I can get out of the fucking wilderness, because I just... I really don't want to fucking die out here. And uh, if I do... Like I said, whoever finds this video, please, because th 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 this motherfucker over here, he's fucking gone. I might have just fucking imagined him. I've seen, like, three people out here already that weren't actually there. But if someone finds this, please just put it on YouTube. And, uh, 
let my fucking family know what happened if you find my body. But, uh, you know, if I don't end up buried out here or eaten by an animal or hanging from a tree, uh, overnight, tomorrow, hopefully, I will be able to tell you guys my thoughts on the Invader Zim Halloween episode, uh, the Halloween Spectacular of Spooky Doom. So, uh, good night, everybody. Hopefully you guys are doing better than I am.